Hello, it's Joseph Party, and today I'm bringing you the top five best decks of the post-March 2021 ban list. So, Calamities is now gone, and a few other cards randomly from Dryotron, but the question remains, what is the best deck? Or what are the best decks? Well, let's find out, shall we? Well, at least in my opinion. Starting with number five, Megalith Drytron. Well, Drytron was severely kicked in the face during this last ban list. And while it is weaker than it was, the Megalith variant in particular isn't as reliant on the broken cards like Ben 10 or Union Character Carrier as the Herald version was. And it's still a very powerful deck that can abuse the Drytron engine that still remains. Up next with number four, we have Lyralusk Tri Brigade. Still makes a very tough board to break, and it took no hits to the ban list. It was already one of the best decks before, and nothing has really changed in that regard. Up next is number three, Dinosaur. Took no hits on the ban list, and Miscellaneous Taurus and Lost World are both insanely powerful tools. That they stop your opponent from really interacting with you going first, and Alternate Conductor Tyranno is an insane board breaker. Over After and Fossil Dig are both cards that also still exist and make the deck insanely consistent, and the deck has a historically good matchup against Dragon Link. Speaking of which, number two, Dragon Link. It's an incredible, powerful deck going first or second because of the tools it has for both. Particularly the best set of tools that work with both going first and second is the incredible value generating cards like the Chaos Dragons of White Dragon Wyvern Burster, Black Dragon Collapse Serpent, having powerful consistency boosters like Brotar, starters that also get you pluses like Red MD and the baby dragon that searches it, and the several more you could also name, like the Dragon Maid Engine, which gets to search up a bounce. And also, what makes it slightly above Dino is that its board is a bit better, because it has access to some of the best negate bosses available in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. Because with VFD gone, we're back to negate boss turbo. And Borosev is still insane. Up to the number one, and if you haven't already guessed it, Eldlish. Didn't take any hits on the ban list. And unlike Dragon Link, it doesn't actually have particularly weak matchups. It can play the, the long game better than any other deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! has, except for maybe like Sky Striker back when it was the top deck, but his deck is insanely adaptable and can just grind against any opponent and only has weaknesses to particular cards and isn't weak to particular decks that you're going to be playing against. And if there is decks that show higher prevalence in the meta, they can just easily adapt by adopting different sub-engines into the Eldritch deck, like Zodiac or Dogmatica are really popular ones. Or if you negate bosses are a thing that you really want to do, you can just go into the Invoked version and make Mechaba. Also, the deck still has access to the most busted negate boss in the game, that being Dragoon. Welp, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like and subscribe, and I hope you have an excellent day.